Hey, stick us back. Stick us back, yeah. Back in the house. Well, I've been playing with Steam, with Proton, of course, and Steam Play. A lot of games do actually work, okay? An awful lot of games that, you, that are not in the list will work. But I thought, well, let's try some games, or a game or two, that's not in the list, that is a current title. So I've opened up my Steam here. World of Warships is in Steam, and I thought to myself, okay, I thought to myself, let's just give it a go, because I do really, really like this game, okay? And over the years I've been playing it, every time it updates, there's always a problem with it, okay? Always a problem. And as you can see, I've played a third of an hour here, a whole third of an hour of World of Warships on Steam, okay? So initially, it does work, okay? Initially. Can you see what I'm saying here? Initially, I'll go to my library and I'll scroll down. I've got to reinstall some games anyway, by the way. I tried to uninstall um, Two Point Hospital for some reason because I went over to the beta of Proton, so I've got to redo that one. So, anyway, World of Warships is here, and this is what happens after the first game, okay? So, you click on play, I'll just wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait, and now I know there's something wrong. Now, I've seen this error used in Playonix and Lutris before, okay? So, it's either Steam has got to update their stuff, or we've got to wait for a new update for World of Warships, okay? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a couple of days and see what happens. But it's, I have loads of memory and loads of everything. It's just the way this game works sometimes, which is a real pity because I really like playing it. Also, unfortunately, I couldn't take over my account from my other account to here. So I've had to create a new account. So I've had to start from scratch. But all I will say about playing World of Warships, okay, on Steam is all the graphics are sorted. It is very, very smooth. I was getting an average of around about 80 to 90 frames a second. Yeah, 80 to 90 frames a second, which I was quite pleased with, to be honest with you. So if they can get that really sorted out really, really quickly, it'll be super duper. Once we get all these high-end games working, it's going to be super for the Linux community and everybody in PC gaming in general. So you can just choose whatever operating system you want and just play on whatever system you want and just get it all out of the wall. Yes, we can all talk about things about, oh, what about this, what about that. Let's give it a go. Give them time to cure the system. Okay, In my opinion, it's going to be 12 months at least to get a decent load of Windows games working. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Easiest one would be is for the people to port it to Linux in the first place. That'd be nice and easy, wouldn't it? But that ain't going to happen, is it? No. Anyway, I just thought I'd get that out there before I go and do some stuff. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.